Because again, it's no. this technology. It's no, 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 there's, there's a display, you can, you can have um, here in loop systems built into so it. You can have rail displays. That yeah, but that's what we want. Every single bus stop. Every single bus stop. We want every single, single, bus stop we want every single oh, major junction yeah. in Swindon control. So this control. is what the money is. So that's, 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 that's part of yeah. the, I mean, just a rough estimate is over 500 million pounds just to resolve some of the problems in Swindon that haven't been done in the past. Yeah. Now, I'm not realistic I'm going to get that from the government. Mm -hmm. But if we can get the bid for the ITMS, if we can get um, the, if we can deliver the rest of the real-time information, if we can improve some of the, um, the signage and the routing of the roads, then actually we can make a significant difference. And actually, in order to um, reduce congestion by all vehicles, all, we, all I need to do at the moment is get 8% of people out of their cars. So if I can target 8% of the population and get them out of their cars, that is a really good starting point. But that you exactly, you've now said exactly what a lot of the transport policy and strategy seems to be about, which is relieving congestion. We're not interested in relieving congestion, no, you we're might interested not, in carbon emissions. Yeah. That's our main focus. Have we got <coughs> an estimate how many carbon emissions could be right. saved by the transport Okay, system? I was talking to Gina outside, and I'll, I'll be quite blunt here. I don't care about carbon emissions. Because for me, the issue is, it's not about how much carbon you're putting in, it's about how much you're consuming. And it's about the consumption, not the emission. I am acutely aware that when you have traffic standing, you, have, uh, you are um, polluting the air. Take it, uh, altering people's behaviour and getting that modal shift, by the nature of doing so, you are reducing their consumption. And that is the key. So, lots of people who are in the, uh, 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 or lots of people who are looking at sustainability issues are talking about carbon, uh, carbon emissions. Most of the public don't understand what that is. What they do understand is that, um, I used an example of a house. If we can put houses up that only cost 140 quid a year to heat, isn't that better than having £1,400 a year for gas and £1,400 a year for electricity? That's what the public understand. And it doesn't matter how many times people talk about carbon uh, footprints and carbon... The majority of people don't get it, but they do understand the price of fuel. They do understand things like miles per gallon. They do understand the cost of things. And I mean monetary cost. Now, you might have a different perception because... You're, you're dealing perhaps with different people. I'm dealing with... No, I'm dealing with no, the general really, public really, all the time. We are dealing with the general public as well. Okay. I don't have that impression at all. But whether we like it or not, we've got to get carbon emissions yeah. down. Yes. Whatever the public but, thinks. But the way to do it is by reducing the consumption. I don't understand your difference between consumption well, and it's about yeah, It's about preservation. Yeah. 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 Well, as a councillor, yeah. 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 we the LAA... We've signed up to NI186, yeah. which is yeah. a capita CO2 yeah. emission reduction. Yeah. So whether you like consumption or emission, Absolutely. it doesn't matter. That's what and we've actually, signed up at, to. At, the, at the public meeting where that was ratified, I actually raised this exact yeah. point. I think Peter's right that when you're looking at uh, you know, the, the technical level, yes, you can talk about tons of carbon because there are nerds around who understand that sort of thing. But when you're talking about trying to educate the public, it's much easier to talk about the benefit to them in reducing consumption. Mm -hmm. right. Because if you get that bit right, then you're achieving your own goal objective. Yeah. Um, well, maybe, but it, I don't think that's relevant, yeah. to be honest. To I don't want to tell the public. That might be relevant to how you present it. Yeah, it's, but that is important because you want to send a message, you've got to present yeah. it right. That's about communication. Yeah, but that's not part and, of what your transport strategy yeah, but, is. No, that's hardware. right. But no, what no, I'm no. saying is, I don't know what a ton of carbon is. I don't know what it looks like. How yeah, you, but you know how much know. fuel it takes to make a ton of I don't. carbon. Well, you can find out. It's no, I know I can, but I don't. But, but the point but, is, if I know that by doing something I'm going to reduce my overall cost and consumption by 30%, I can, I can deal with that mentally. Yeah, well, the thing is, carbon pricing, carbon is going yeah. to come into cost yeah, in it, the future anyway. Yeah, it, it yeah. might be, but 
the fact that you know this may come in doesn't mean that the majority of the public are going to understand it. No. Well, so I think you're really underestimating the majority. I, well, I don't audience. because I, I, you know, I, 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 I don't have to deal with it. I was going to say, honestly, I would actually really support people. Yeah, 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 if we yeah, all, yeah, if we all think about waste, ten years ago, no one thought anything about having a big bag and chucking everything. No. Food waste, your bottles, a whole lot went in. Now, it's taken us 10 or 12 years, I've been in the business, about get, feeding it through. Only now are we beginning to get rid of the plastic bags, which was actually how the whole thing started, because we couldn't get rid of the plastics. And, uh, you know, we were sending the bottles to China. And, uh, but that is the time, and I, I actually, I support Rod and Peter on this one, is you've got to find that the most saleable way of getting people to realise that it's actually going to cost them financially less to yeah. do something. Mm -hmm. I think all this rather sort of aspirational, you know, appealing to people's best sentiments, I, I found very sort of cynical here, but I think I've learned that that well, actually I won't get the change. I don't think we were in that way, but I do yeah. think that they're one and the same thing. And Look. I don't think it's the role of government to to adapt its policy and its strategy to what, you know... No, I thought you were saying that. No, 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 that's, that's not what I'm not this is saying. Well, it's I'm asking it's you about what the part of emissions savings, how we got calculation, well, yeah, no, we've we've done all of that, and it's yeah, all no, the yeah. we, we haven't delivered the full strategy. And in fact, I, have, I almost hope that we don't, because I want, the strategy has to evolve. We can't just say, right, here you are. That's the strategy. That's what we're going to deliver by 2026. Yeah, because know. actually, in five years' time, the whole yeah, world could have changed. changed. The world's changing yeah. now, so it can't be too big. I think, guys, for, one, that for one side, I'm hearing people argue from different ends of the same consumer. Okay, yeah. So they might get levelled at me, and I think we could move on productively. Yeah. <laughs> but I, yeah, I would like to do that. It's, yeah, I, I really... Did you ask all the old questions? Oh, did you ask questions? Yeah, I just had one. Yeah, no, no, I'm fine, don't worry about it. I'm worried about you guys falling asleep. Well, they're too late. The first one, they're both to do with the transport planning strategy. You've just been talking to the press about putting the canal map through the centre. Personally, I think it would be, well, I'm not against it, and I, and I know there'll be strong opinion, but in terms of your transport planning, I just want a yes or no, have you considered that? Absolutely, it's part of the transport strategy. strategy. And again, links to that, you said you're, you like trams, It would be one of the best things we've ever done. Absolutely. I'm in favour of it, but I'm a My question is, trains and other things. Uh, you talked about trams, you talked about, uh, every so often in the press they can't put a monorail in Swindon or do this and do that. And it's gone away again. Have you done studies and are these things totally unviable? I'm just no, they're, 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 they are not unviable. Um, we, we can work on the viability because we, you know, we know what the key routes are in Swindon. Um, there's a, a, a for my, my favourite subject, uh, trams. There's a, a, a light rail system called uh, LR55, which can be set into roads, pavements, grass, and it costs £600,000 a mile. That's cheaper than actually putting a boat down. And that's uh, probably about, I think it's about 1 25th of the cost of putting rail in. Now, buses are cheaper, but if you put a, a guided busway in, you're actually effectively creating a road. And it's cheaper to put in a light rail system, but I accept the point that you know the trams can, the actual physical trams can be more expensive. Certainly, the ones we use in this country. When you look at some of the trams that are used elsewhere in the world, I'm not saying they're built to a different, well, I suppose it is a different standard, but I don't mean that in terms of quality or safety. They are a different design. Why? Why should we not look at buying trams from 